What's poppin' family? Spence Locks here coming at you guys with another video for our NBA matchup today. Guys, before I even start the video, drop me a fucking like right now because we are 3 for 3 on our last VIP picks. As well as last night, the free pick catch as well. I'm going to go over the results from last night's game between the, uh, the Pacers and the Knicks. And if you guys remember, game 6 between the Timberwolves and Nuggets, everybody was on the Nuggets. We rode with the Timberwolves. We cashed on that as well. Looking to go four for four tonight. I have a best bet posted already sent out tonight on my winnable to my VIP clients. I'm going to go over the analysis, full in-depth deep dive into tonight's lineup uh, and matchup between the uh, Dallas Mavericks and Oklahoma City Thunder tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern in Dallas. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a crazy game this playoff season. Guys has been a roller coaster, and we've called the last few games the script to a T. And now uh, I, I have a pretty good read on what's going to expect, what's to be expected tonight. We're gonna go over game totals, spread, money lines. We're gonna go over what the public is doing. We're gonna go over player props, um, and get you guys the best, most amount of information that you can use to make some picks and make some money tonight in tonight's game. So uh, before we do that. Let's go over last night, and I want to show you guys this. This is mad funny to me. Again, like I showed you guys before, when the Timberwolves beat the Nuggets in Game 6 the other night, they did this same thing, but it was Anthony Edwards and then Joker at the bottom crying, right? <laughs> Wolves force Game 7, and it was Edwards up here selling, and like I said, Jokic on the bottom looking like he was about to cry. This, to me proves that this is all about drama and entertainment more than it is about who's the better team more than it is about who has home court advantage more than it is about anything really because it's even becoming clear in some of these times uh in some of these games especially this year where i can tell the nba is really forcing and it really looks like they're fixing games i mean <laughs> but but shit like this Look at 224,000 likes. I'm a social media guy, so like I can understand and tell the trend. Like this is very drama to me. This is very e news. Like, oh my, let's get the mainstream public to watch NBA, and that's exactly what we saw. It, there's main characters, right? So Halliburton, you know, obviously McConnell's not a main character really, but he's been playing well. And then you have Brunson, who's obviously main character for New York, best player on the team. And then with tonight, we got. We got Kyrie Luka, Kyrie Irving, and Luka, and we have uh, Shea Gillis Alexander for uh, the uh, fuck the, the OKC. So something like this just shows me that it's all about entertainment, really, more than it is about the better team winning. Now the Pacers were at home, and now they are five and zero at home in the playoffs. I called this shit to a T, and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Uh, first, here was the. Uh, here was the free pick from last night. I sent this out, guys, on my winnable completely for free. If you guys want to go over to my winnable, uh, the link is in the description or winnable.com slash Spence Locks, and you can join my free subscription there. It's always going to be free. I drop plays like this for player props on my free subscription and also join the Discord. If you go to my winnable, uh, you'll see the Discord link as well. It's a free Discord where we chop it up, the community. It's completely free. It always will be completely free for you guys to go in there. And sometimes I give additional free picks up in the Discord. But yeah, this one cashed last night. Huge W for our free pick as well. And I want to show you guys, um, this was my VIP from last night. Two for two last night on VIP. We had over 215 total points, and we had the Pacers minus four. Now, I altered the line a little bit on this one just to give us a little bit of boost because I know the odds makers might give us the Pacers win, but they might not give us the, the cover on the spread. So it was, I think, five and a half. I brought that shit down to earth a little bit just to make sure that we cashed and we still had better odds. Um, we had better payout than if we just rocked with Pacers money line. I believe Pacers money line was like minus 200 or minus 220. Uh, so I felt safe about this. Nonetheless, we didn't need the cushion. We cashed regardless on both. And, you know, then we had the Wolves the night before. So we are three for three, guys, on our last VIP pick. So if you're riding, this is the time to get in. This is the time to get on my VIP. We are on a hot streak right now. And I'll show you guys real quick here. So this is my free subscription. Make sure you just smash that free subscription so you get notified via text and email when I post free plays. 
and then you can see a button down here on your end it will show the discord join that up here's my vip best bets and if you guys use code playoffs you'll be able to get 20 percent off any of the plans here rock a month run, rock a week try it out for a day try it out for a year this is supposed to be a investment strategy guys we are going to win more than we are going to lose you can't win every single night but we're doing pretty damn well right now and uh up for the month so check that out guys appreciate you guys so much so yeah let's go into today um <laughs> i'm gonna just go over the analysis real quick here with you guys uh, i did a lot of research took a lot of notes so like i said like if you guys drop me a comment who are you guys riding with who do you guys think are your best player props drop your best lock for the day and um i'll go through the through the comments if one cashes I'll talk about you in my next video and we'll ride your picks for the next video as well so yeah game six tonight right and real quick before i give my analysis actually let's check out what our best friends the public are doing tonight in tonight's game if you guys already know um oklahoma city is the underdog in tonight's game they are losing in the series three games to two dallas is looking to come in at home tonight and close them out and move on to the next round of the playoffs to me guys let's just look at this right here as you can see everybody is rocking with dallas i mean 76 percent 86 percent of all the bets are on dallas to win tonight but 76 percent of the money is on dallas to win tonight uh we have a majority 80 percent around 80 percent for dallas to cover in the spread tonight the spread is currently at three and a half to four depending on which sports book you're using so which means you know oklahoma city has to win by this amount or they can't lose by that or they have to win the game or they can't lose by three and a half points or dallas has to win by more than three and a half points so that's what that shows you here the total over and under we're going to talk about the over and unders uh total today in the analysis but as you can see a large majority of people are leaning towards the over in this game and the over is pretty the over under like line at 208 here and at some books like 209 it's pretty low uh so we're going to talk about that a little bit here but i just want you guys to check out where the public is throwing their money and if you realize from before public what did they do on game six between the wolves and the nuggets everybody had their money on the nuggets vegas pulled the rug and wiped everybody's bank account clean came up millions of dollars all right Pacers Knicks where did everybody have their money everybody had their money on the Knicks what happened Vegas pulled the rug on everybody force another game seven now will this force a game seven this is the thing we're at tonight right we've just seen it last two times between the Wolves and the Nuggets and the Pacers and the Knicks the team the the, the Wolves force a game seven the Pacers force a game seven now are we going to see OKC force a game seven or are we going to see Dallas close it out tonight and there'll be no game seven and I'm here to tell you that there will be a game seven there will be a game seven OKC will win the game tonight and there will be a game seven and OKC let's get that straight okay let's talk about it let's talk about it because some of you guys are probably like Spence what the fuck are you talking about Guys, I was, I've been right two times in a row now. Just listen to what I have to say. Tell me. Ride with me. Fade me. I don't give a fuck. I'm just telling you guys what I think. And based off of what I believe the script is. And what we're going to see to come down the line. I could be wrong tonight. I was right the last two nights. But let's just get into it and see what you guys think at the end of this video. Game 6 tonight. Mavericks have gone 6 games against the Clippers in the last uh, round of the series. Clippers were a bit worn out going into game one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, against the Clippers. And, and so like the Mavericks, when they played OKC, right, in game one of this series, they were a little bit worn out. OKC won at home, kind of won by a good amount of margin. Since then, Dallas has won three of the last four games against OKC. They should have won all four games, but remember they lost that game four at the very end when OKC came back and, and did that to Dallas in Dallas on their home court. Dallas had an 11 point lead in that game going into halftime. Then we've seen game five. Dallas bounces back. Impressive underdog win in OKC in Oklahoma. Embarrassed them on their floor. Okay. Talk about the total. The total for this game, it continues to drop. Four or five games have gone under. 
four out of the five games gone under with bad shooting overall. As you guys have you guys been watching this series, these teams have not really been shooting well, especially OKC sub average numbers on shooting, especially from three point range. Now you can say Dallas is tightening up their defense, they're limiting the amount of shots, but realistically, like they've just been shooting really bad ever since game two. Game two, three, four, and five, OKC has shot terrible, and it's cost them those these games really. Um uh so yeah that you know i mean uh game two was the only game to get over the point total so everything else has been unders on the total score but you got to think that the odds makers know this they're adjusting to it we're at a pretty low line tonight but you guys know historically game six and game seven is usually lean under uh both these teams do have a pretty good rate of pace though um like the pacers right they play fast they're able to when they're able to shoot and make baskets the pace is fast when they're missing every shot obviously the games go under but what we've seen is they've been missing every shot so i look for a bounce back tonight i look for a big bounce back tonight especially from okc um and i'll explain that here last two games okc has gone 38 and 42 percent shooting in just 26 percent and 25 percent in the last two games from a three-point range i'll say that again last two games okc has gone 38 percent and 42 percent shooting field goals and just 26 percent and 25 percent from three-point range in the last two games that's awful so how could you expect to win at those percentages you gotta think at some point okc with the gifted shooters that they are are going to wake up and they they can't be in that slump forever and we've seen that with the nuggets and the wolves like you know the nuggets win and they're up big in the series looking to close it out and then out of nowhere right they won three games in a row and then look what we saw bloodbath right an absolute bloodbath in the minnesota win so nothing in these playoffs are are just expected and that's something big to go into this it's usually expect the unexpected fade the public Vegas is smart. They make the lines for a reason. They don't want to give all their money to the public. I promise you that. That's not how they stay in business. That's not how these casinos and sports books make millions of dollars. They don't do it by just giving the team that's expected to win and giving everybody that locked them all their money. I promise you that, guys. Um, the Thunder were outscored by 12 points from three-point range in Game 5, and they lost by 12. Uh, I mean, they shot horribly. And, and so what I'm thinking, OKC tonight, guys, they have to shoot better. If they shoot better, they will win this game. If they outshoot Dallas, they will win this game. Yes, Dallas is grabbing more rebounds. Dallas is at home. Lock down Luka. Lock down Luka. Sh make baskets. And, and OKC wins this game or at least covers the spread. Um, that's what I think. If you blindly, here's a little statistic here and a trend. If you blindly played game six road teams, you'd be 91 and 59 against the spread in the last few decades so game six road teams you'd be 91 and 59 record against the spread and who's the road team tonight okc okay, trends don't matter too much to me and nowadays because i feel like over the last decades a lot has changed with sports books and odds and in the nba and the association and the script but that's just a little trend here for you blindly playing the under of the total score will also work well odds makers are catching up though Although you would be 90 and 66 over the last few decades playing the under in game six. So that's always something to know. And these games between these two teams have gone under a lot. Part of that is because OKC hasn't been shooting for shit. I expect them to bounce back tonight. How many games could they really shoot like shit? And you got to understand, OKC tonight has their back against the wall. They're fighting for their lives. What did we see the Pacers do? They fought for their lives. What did we see the Wolves do? They fought for their lives. Expect them to. And their players have been playing piss poor. I mean, besides SGA, who's been carrying this team, Jalen Williams has been underperforming. Chet Holgram has been underperforming. Like, these guys just haven't been what they were. And, I, and for some reason tonight, I have a hunch that they're going to be slapping shots tonight. They're going to be slapping shots tonight. Just, I don't know, bro. I just have a vision. Um, but, yeah, the game six total for tonight, it's, it's down to 209. It's the lowest we've seen in this series. Series, I'm staying away from it. Do as what you will with it. I'm staying away from it. Um, both these teams have good defenses. But, yeah, I have a different play in mind uh, for this game. 
It's sent out on my VIP. OKC has been shooting terribly since game two. I expect them to come out banging shots tonight with their backs against the wall. I said this, guys, their season's on the line. If they shoot piss poor tonight, they're going home. I expect them to come out and make shots because they haven't for the last four games. Right? At some point, they got to come back and bring their shots back. At some point, Luka went, Luka Doncic went 12 for 22 last game. Field goals, 5 for 11 from three-point range. He banged in 31 points and ended with a triple-double in game five. You think he's going to do that again? No. No, that's another reason that OKC takes this game tonight. But look for a regression from Luka. Um, and if Luka doesn't play well, as well as last night, OKC shoots better, then now you guys see where I'm going with this. Um, let's talk about player props. For Dallas, Jalen Williams, over 17.5 points. Like I said, guys, I think OKC shoots better. He took 13 shot attempts in Game 5, and he landed at 12 points. Let's look at him here. Um, pull him up on the screen here for you guys. This is points, 17.5. As you guys can see, he was crushing this against the Pelicans. Dallas right came in did something at least i believe his line was higher though up here like at 20 and a half so he was missing these he did well against the pelicans and then since then he's just been regressing and not only just him but even guys that we're going to talk about next like chet holgram uh they just have had a mediocre series and that's why that they're losing but i feel like they come back tonight and they shock the world and then you're going to see another one of these guys you're going to see another one of these you're going to see another one of these Thunder Force Game 7. You're going to see Luka at the bottom. He's going to be shook. You're going to see SGA, and you're going to see either Chet Holmgren or, or uh, J-Dub or somebody else, <laughs> Josh Giddy up here celebrating. I swear, bro. I swear. Just watch it happen. Let's go back um, to Jalen Williams here. Yeah. If you're going to do Jalen Williams or a lot of Thunder props tonight, I would look at the overs. Like I said, I think the script is that the Thunder are going to come out tonight and, and punch Dallas in the mouth in Dallas and upset a lot of people and take a lot of people's money tonight. That is what I think the script is. Okay. Let's go back to the analysis. So another player prop we have tonight, you can look at Doncic rebounds over or assists over if you want to do rebounds and assists over. I don't think he's going to have as good of a night scoring tonight. 31 points and he had a triple-double last game. But, you know, I do think he'll have – you can look at his assists and stuff. It's not really a lock at all for me. I'm not going to touch Donkic tonight because I do think he regresses. Uh, but that's – all you guys, I would never fade – I would never fade a superstar either. Uh, so I'm just going to not touch him tonight. Kyrie Irving, he's been going under all five games, guys. All five games of this series. Look at his assist prop tonight. Let's take, take a look at it here on the screen. Um, his line is at five and a half tonight. Did four last game. But he's been he's been doing this. Uh, I do think that Kyrie maybe has some good assists tonight. He's gone under in points um, brutally. Uh, now they brought his line back to 19 and a half. I wouldn't touch that. If I was going to do Kyrie, I'd probably do assists. But maybe you can get an alternate line on that and bring it down to four. I'd feel more comfortable with that, guys. Um, but let's go back to the next one here. Um, yeah, guys, like, I think Kyrie assists, if you can get the line down to four, if you can alter alternate the line a little bit, get that down to four assists instead of five and a half, you're looking good on that with Doncic and Was PJ Washington scoring. It looks like a pretty good line. Um, let's go over to some OKC player props. SGA, he said 30 points. In game five, his total tonight's 31 and a high. It's pretty high. 31 and a half. It's pretty high. I mean, but it's his average uh, that he's been doing. Let's look at him real quick. Um, here we go. This is um, points. Mm, but it's just, you know, it's I'd never fade a superstar. So I'm going to pass on him. I might block the over just because... I think that he's going to have his back against the wall. He's going to come out and lead this team to victory, personally. But then again, this line is really high, and it's priced so well. And I've seen some sports books as well giving, like, promos, like extra money and stuff, or uh, increasing the value if you lock him over a certain amount of points tonight. It's kind of a red flag, kind of something similar to what we've seen with Anthony Edwards. 
uh, at 28 points, 28.5 points in the win against the Nuggets in game six the other night. And then they pulled him out when he was at 27 points. Will we see a blowout in today's game? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. But this is a pretty uh, well-priced line for SG. I don't, I don't know how I feel. I think he's going to have a great game. He might come really close to it. But I would never fade him. If you're going to do a prop on him, go over. Um, let's talk about Chet. 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 Holgrim. He's had a mediocre series. I think he comes back tonight. I mean, he's been pretty close to the line. He's at 14 and a half for points tonight. Uh, I think that he has to have a night. My my vision of the script tonight is that guys like Holmgren, guys like SGA, guys like J-Dubs, like the entire, and, and we'll get to the last one here, Josh Giddy, our guy Josh Giddy tonight. Over five and a half points, that's a fucking lock. That is a lock. I feel the best about Josh Giddy more than anybody. And even if you want to lock his threes, all he has to do is hit one three-pointer. 0.53 tonight, that's a lock. It's five and a half points tonight. Probably feel better about that one, honestly. But look at, he's been doing this. I mean, it's pretty low. He's not getting as much playing time. But the guy who's been playing over him, Joe, sucks. Um, and some part of me feels like Josh Giddy wants to get his swagger back, bro. Josh Giddy wants to get back on that floor. He's kind of embarrassed right now. Like, and that's just like how I would feel because I played sports. You go from being a starter on national TV to, to getting benched, and that's a shitty feeling. So he wants to come back and play a great game, and he's hit this seven out of the last ten games. He hasn't been getting as much playing time in here, um, but I do think that Josh Giddy hits that, and I'll bless Josh Giddy tonight on his over points. The, yeah, guys, that's the analysis. Um I hope you guys like it no matter what side of the fence you're on. I do have the best bet for VIP tonight. Looking to go four for four in the last three nights of VIP. Link is in the description to get on my winnable. Let me know who you guys are riding with tonight. Let me know um, your predictions for tomorrow night as well. We have two interesting games. I'm going to give you guys a deep dive video into Pacers versus Knicks game seven and Wolves versus Nuggets game seven. Let's get some momentum going into Sunday night. Some very big games. Love you guys. Uh, make sure that you guys use the link in the description for any of the sports books, right, or any of the DFS apps to get double your initial first deposit on the DFS apps and extra money and bonus bets with all the sports books with the link in my description. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you're 21 and up. Uh, if you use the sports books, if you have a problem, call 100 Gambler. See you guys in the next video. OKC wins game six and forces a game seven in Oklahoma. You heard it here first. Spence Locks, out. Oh.